guys, welcome back to my channel. We're starting off with brows. I'm using Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia with her 12 brush. Starting in the front of the brow. Mine is a little dried out, but it actually helps sometimes because it helps you not use too much product, which is a good thing. But I hate having to re-moisturize it with some Duraline or eye drops or whatever. But I'm going to continue to fill in the tail of the brow, go towards the other side, and just kind of blend with the spoolie. To set the brows, I'm using Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia as well, pushing the brow hairs up. I really like when the hair is super separated and really, really full. And to conceal, I'm using Light Neutral tape, Shape Tape by Tarte. And a flat definer, this is an E20, I believe, or an E15, sorry, E15. And we are going to cut and clean the brow. My eyes are super dry and it's so annoying. I hate the winter when it does that to me. My, suit, my eyes get super dry and it's really annoying when I put primer on. It's really annoying when I put concealer on. So if you guys have any good eye cream recommendations, I will be taking them, please. Please comment them below. Going to prime with Painterly and a P89, and then we're moving on to the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. Mm -hmm. I know you guys wanted me to use this again, so here we go. Using Sandalwood for our transition color, I'm using an E40 from Sigma, just going back and forth. I like to raise my forehead with my uh, hand sometimes to just really get in there. And then I'm using Maneater with a 2.5 by Samey which I love their brushes. If you have not tried them yet, I super, super suggest it. I don't understand how they don't have like a crazy amount of followers yet because their brushes are sick. So I'm going back and forth, almost creating a halo, actually really creating a halo because that is what we're doing today. So I'm going back and forth, going up towards the crease and then just focusing on the outer V and inner corner as well. I love this little brush for that. And then I'm just going back and forth, blending with the E40 again. Now I'm taking Flamingo and brightening up this area. I just really like the way this looked. And I wanted to play with a different color of the palette that I haven't really touched yet. And Flamingo was one of those. So why not just brighten it up, make it a little bit more funky. And then I was going back and forth with Maneater again. Because I didn't want to completely cancel out the red because... I love a red eye. You know what's really funny is that I remember noticing Brooke Davis on One Tree Hill wearing red eyeshadow. And I was like, damn girl, she was in trend like way before red eyeshadow was really in. Just a thought. Anyways, using uh, 24K on the lid, mainly in the center obviously because we're doing a halo. And use your finger because that is the best way to get this shadow to really pop. Look how beautiful this is. This is probably one of the most beautiful true golds I've ever used. And then I'm going back and forth with that 2.5 again just to kind of blend the edges and make it nice and soft. Super pretty. Now I'm using Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D and Trooper. Just doing a basic wing. Nothing crazy. Even though I feel like they should they should as if they're like a group but I feel like we need like a new liner trick or something like not just a wing like there should be a new liner trend right am I just thinking out loud maybe I don't know I feel like the wings are making me a little bored you know everything's always with a wing that's why I never do um too much with the wings I usually like kind of skip the wings sometimes anyways Going on with Marc Jacobs Mascara, Velvet Noir, and then I'm using No More Bags on the under eye because my bags are pretty bad today. And I'm using this, this is by Dr. Brandt. This is really, really good. Actually happens like super, super fast, the results. So I definitely recommend that. For primer, I'm using Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer, putting that all over the face. And then I'm using my favorite favorite foundation right now, the NARS Naturally Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I'm using an Optical Blurring Brush by Urban Decay. This used to be my shit back in the day. Sorry for the cursing. I know I don't. I was like still like not sure if I could curse or not, but I'll curse, but not a lot. You know what I'm saying? 
that's good guys that's good so I'm just putting this all over like the coverage is just insane oh now for concealer I'm good doing light neutral again because I am pale as hell so I'm just going to do under the eyes the chin the nose and the forehead like a little tree and then I'm using this Japanese sponge blending this out this is my favorite sponge to use right now I've been like switching you know from Tarte to Beauty Blender um, I heard Fenty's is really good my sister uses theirs might try it we'll see and I know it's cheaper than a Beauty Blender too so I'm just blending this out with Japanese I know Japanese is pretty cheap too so if you guys want to know but I really really like this one because it's not as like super soft as a beauty blender it's a little bit more dense so it's a little bit more harder on the face which I actually like because you get more coverage out of that now I'm using the KKW Beauty contour six in medium drawing the darker shade all over my face basically on the nose the cheekbones the forehead the jawline and underneath the lip and then I'm gonna use the lighter shade too just to kind of bronze you know up the cheeks a little bit right here I couldn't really use this when I was tan but now that I'm more pale I can use it so it actually makes me happy because I really did like the way these blended um, especially with this foundation it blends super super nice and I'm using a cover effects brush this actually came with the contour kit I believe from there and I love their contour kit too if you have not tried it I recommend it their cream contour kit is legit but it's a little too light for me right now Actually, I'm going to probably purchase a darker shade because that stuff was good. I want to get back to using that. You know when you fall in love with products again, it's just like so much fun again? I love that. I'm doing a lot of random thoughts with you guys today. Okay, so setting it with the Locket Setting Powder by Kat Von D, my favorite powder. I just have not found a powder that has been better than this with the, you know, coverage the thin consistency it's just awesome I'm just bronzing a little bit more with the KKW contour kit I can't believe I actually really really love her stuff like I mean but at the same time she's got Mario on her side so I feel like stuff should be good so I'm glad that it is I'm using peachy love blush by Anastasia I'm mixing all three colors with an F10 from Sigma and then I'm using flamingo and man-eater with an E30 by Sigma and going underneath the lower lash line and just smudging that out. And then I'm going back in with the Velvet Noir mascara by Marc Jacobs. And for lashes, we're using Gigi Bell Lashes in Lexi. These are our first Invisiband lashes. I'm super, super proud of them. They're gorgeous and super flirty. Um, so you guys can use code SUBBY and get 20% off just for you guys link is below for you guys to shop and I'm putting these on with some Sigma tweezers which are amazing my favorite tweezers ever and I'm using this Becca palette I think this was part of their holiday maybe maybe not I don't, I don't remember but I'm using an E36 to put this on I mix basically all of the colors putting that on the inner corner brow bone and on the nose gotta highlight that thing and then I'm using a Morphe M501 brush I've and of course the Becca palette I will write below exactly what it is so don't worry I'm just putting some highlight on the lips as well because that's just part of my face you know all right this has been requested to use again, so I'm using the Lip Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, mixing these two colors together. I don't know why it's so satisfying to like push it onto the pan like that, but it is. So I wanted to create this beautiful cranberry color, which I was so happy the way it came out. It literally matches the shadow like perfect, which I don't normally do, but I really liked it with this look. So I'm just putting it on with a little brush. That, that little lip brush is just perfect. They did a really good job with that. And I'm just going to, you know, shape my lips out, make sure everything is nice and even. But this color is good. I do recommend you exfoliate your lip, though, beforehand. But it's pretty, pretty good. I'm happy with it. 
setting with Tachi Dewey Mist Spray. And that is it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this warmth winter look. If you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see next, please comment them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.